permanent in the Kenyan soil, and the president is quiet. All right, we'll revisit that in just a moment. But let's take a look at what's happening in uh, neighboring Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe's Emerson Munagangwa will be sworn in today as president after a triumphant return home following the dramatic departure of Robert Mugabe, ending 37 years of authoritarian rule. Munagangwa, who has close ties with the army and the security establishment, returned home to a hero's welcome in Zimbabwe on Wednesday, telling crowds of supporters in Harare they were witnessing the beginning of a new democratic era in Zimbabwe. International guests are currently arriving in Harare for the ceremony. The Zambian president, Edgar Lungu, is the latest to arrive. Live pictures, they're coming to you from Harare there. Uh, several arrivals are coming in and uh, we'll be following this live. This is a historic moment uh, for residents of uh, Zimbabwe, people who are celebrating uh, a new president really for the first time in 37 years after uh, the... Uh, resignation of uh, Robert Mugabe earlier this week. Let's cross over there to Harare and listen in. and we're seeing an entourage there. That is an indication that uh, Zimbabwe's incoming president, Emerson Munagangwa, is now just arriving for his uh, inauguration today. Crowds are gathering also at a 60,000-seat stadium in uh, Zimbabwe's capital, Harare, to witness the swearing-in of uh, Emerson Munagangwa, former vice president of uh, Zimbabwe, a man who fell out with uh, the then president, Robert Mugabe, after a tussle of a position which uh, Robert Mugabe's wife, Grace Mugabe, later took on, an event uh, that prompted the military to also intervene as uh, part of uh, the ZANU-PF ruling party, also uh, um, siding there uh, with the military. So live pictures, they're coming in from Zimbabwe, that 60,000 seat stadium also set to be filled uh, any moment now. And uh, this, of course, follows that dramatic departure of uh, Zimbabwe's uh, Robert Mugabe after 37 years of authoritarian rule. We'll be going back there 